sure you're lucky. So I hate to start a vlog in the middle of it, but I really didn't plan on vlogging today. I came just to do Orion and the Beast, and I've done that, but there is nobody here right now. Beast is walk on, Diamondback is walk on. It's like 1120 or something, so main entry is open. And wow. See, this is what I'm talking about. Insane. So it is exactly 11.20 and nobody here. After three weeks, even after three days, I was here with this line. It was like completely full all the way to the extended queue over there. <laughs> I, did, like, I did not think I was going to do everything today. But it just turned out to be walk on, so I'm going to start vlogging. See great operations at the Beast Crew. Second train's not even on the brake run yet. Or, sorry, I'm going to repeat that. Second train's not even on the brake run yet, ready to dispatch. Alright, so like I've been saying, I love the interaction, but just I have been to this park and made so many vlogs from this park at some point that, you know, it's just hard to keep it fresh. So I, don't, I didn't want to bore you guys, you know, with another vlog, but every time I come, something exciting happens and there's nobody here right now. And that is firmly my number three ride behind Orion and Banshee here. Now they're gonna talk, or I'm gonna talk about the three weeks it was closed, a lot of retrack work. Not where it needed to be, honestly. Both lift hills are completely new. And honestly, if you sit in the front, you can just see a lot of the sections of the new track. But yeah, they did do some retrack in, I guess, in three weeks. So as I'm coming out of East, sorry, I'm trying to remember that zooming muffles my mic. But I'm zooming, you can see how short the Diamondback line is. Barely at steps. So I was gonna do Mystic, but they just sent an empty train, so I guess we'll check on that short Diamondback line. So as they've sent a few trains, you can see walking right up to the steps on Diamondback. I imagine there's not, yeah, I was gonna say there's probably not too many people on the steps. There's my good friend Thomas, Coaster Media at Separator. Yeah. So shout out to this guy. Just walked up to me, said he just started watching my videos. So that is amazing to meet a fan. And we got my fan Thomas here. Friend Thomas here, I mean, working. So I just came off of front row. I just came off a of front row ride on this. And to everybody who loves Diamondback, I'll give it to you. That first half is like actually exceptional. Like airtime hill after airtime hill. And then that intense turn and then another airtime hill. Like that first half is amazing. But that second half is just always so dead for me just makes it so hard to even consider putting that above Orion. But the first half, that was that was hitting in the front. That was fantastic. But the lines do seem to have built up, especially Mystic, because it was sending another test train while I was on Diamondback, so I have no clue what's going on with that ride. Like Velocicoaster was when I was at Universal. These still was walk on though, so maybe I should go check that out again. Not sure though, honestly. So the fact that that meetup just happened is crazy because I almost forgot to talk about that I had the privilege to drive up here yesterday and meet Noah, who has been like supporting my channel forever and has his own channel with 500 subscribers. Like absolutely so cool to meet him. So they're playing the Mystic Timber Shed song here. After waiting in all this with Zach, after it opened, like after being closed for three days, it's amazing for this to be walk on on a Sunday right now. But literally nobody you can see, like there's no, congestion or build up at all so we're gonna walk try to do another third row ride hopefully i don't get a copyright strike i was talking loud enough over that see not all the rows are even full for the next train awesome so you can see maintenance in the station they just said they're going to clear everybody in the queue i saw them on the phone so they closed the queue but they said they're going to get us out before they do whatever maintenance they do which is nice so you can see there's two more maintenance there nobody on that train and they emptied out the queue. Honestly, uh, amazing on them for letting everybody ride who was in the queue before doing maintenance. Also, the view from the beast exit of the park is so beautiful. You can see, like, everything. So, lines are actually short, but I did just come here to do, like, a couple rides and do food. It was just insane that the lines were as short as they were, so I decided to make a quick vlog out of it. And I'm so happy I did, because I was able to talk about how I met that dude, like, as it happened. Amazing, honestly. So there's a staff like that I just passed before I started vlogging this. See, they've got one right here, ready to close this area again, like how they normally do. So they're preparing to go down for another long period of time. I was gonna come back for hopefully a night ride, but who knows how long. So with Diamondback going over me, I am gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna go, I'm not sure where I'm gonna eat actually. I might try somewhere new. But I'll see you in the next one. It's a short little no lines vlog here today.